just get a phone call, bro. Yeah. We done been up here for months. You ain't just get a phone call. No, you ain't just get a phone call. You ain't just get a phone call. Don't call up here and try to play up there. They swear we done. Don't right. you be stupid. Right. Man, we, we, been up here for, we been up here longer than you done been up here. Right. right. You just right. shut it up. We been up here longer than that. What, what we doing? Yeah. Probably the manager what we about? Who we about? Because the property manager ain't say shit. We in front of a abandoned ass place. In, a, in our neighborhood, man. Right, in our neighborhood. Right. You but they come over to our neighborhood and still want to try to tell us something to do. Police come up for a That's why we're hating, man. That's it. Because this ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah. Because you ain't going to tell us the property manager called you on a Saturday about some shit that's going on in Pleasant Grove. Don't we, don't we work? Speaking. Right. Ain't we the workers? Right. So shouldn't we know if they working on Saturday night? Yeah. Right. You know damn property yeah, manager. like that, man. We ain't, front of of we ain't in front of family dollar. We ain't in front of nothing if those businesses just running. Okay, we ain't in front of an abandoned building. This, this is his property. And they well, he, what he doing is, is so he rolled right by here and he seen us up here and he called you, he called your company and told you to come down here and buy us. And I ain't seen no Chinese. I ain't seen no uh, Arabian. I ain't seen no white dude. Come up here with that goddamn garbage right. stuff. Talk about some, yeah, we'll get them out of here. I'll get them out of here. They're damn, they're bringing the truth. <laughs> yeah, they're they bringing the truth. How do we do something about this? They're telling the fact. Read it out. Well, what, uh, you got mouth mouth. I got it. Got it. Second Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the... Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Yeah, hold up. No, he ain't, did you call your property manager about a motherfucker selling dope? Right. Did you call about that? Yeah. No, nah, you ain't called about that. Did you call about people, people. people being drunk out here? Did you call about that? No, nah, the brothers out here with the Bibles, that's who you want to call on. That's wicked in his eyes, boy. You see how wicked he's out here? That's true. We out here with the Bible. We out here with the Bible and he called the Bible. Who they are. But he got to call somebody to tell it because it's back to his empty soul. That's right. Don't even have a soul. Give me the book over there. Oh, oh, shit. You know what? Oh, oh, oh. 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 I let these demons make it. Nine times out of ten, I let them make it. They walk on about their business. But when you get these old balls and ones that want to come into the hood, when they want to go and get these old balls and ones in the hood, give me Revelation 13, right behind you. Give me a uh, over there, one of uh, 15. The book of Obadiah. Start at nine. The book of Obadiah, chapter one, verse nine. Three. And thy mighty men, O demon, shall be dismayed. To the end that every one of the Mount of Esau, the Mount of who? The Mount of Esau. The Mount of who? The Mount of Esau. The Israel that don't know who that is, the Mount of Esau is talking about the so-called white man. That's right. Bring it out, huh? Maybe cut off by slaughter. Maybe what? Cut off by slaughter. Now he gonna get a pass. Cut off by slaughter. Now he gonna make it to the kingdom. Cut off by slaughter. But yo, bring it on, huh? For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. You see, he still got the violence against their brother because they're still out there causing heaven, hell, and lying. Because they're born natural life. That's right. Ain't a, ain't a decent spirit up right in there with them. That's right. Read, huh? Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. For how long? Forever. For how long? Forever. I ain't never coming back to the top again, Esau. That's right. 15. The book of Obadiah, chapter 1. Verse 15. Read. For the day of the Lord is near upon all heathen. The day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Esau. Read. As thou hast done. As you have done. It shall be done unto thee. It shall be done unto you. That's right. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. So if you don't know your reward is about to return upon your own head, it's coming. That's right. Give me uh, Revelation 13 and 9. You got that? The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 9. Bring it on. If any man have an ear, let him hear. That means everybody out here that can hear these words. You better listen up. Read. He that lead up into captivity. He that led that took the so-called blacks into captivity. Shall go into captivity. He's not going to get a fat pad. Shall go into captivity. He's going to get to break away because he got LGBT. Shall go into captivity. Bring on. He that kill him with the sword. Read. Must be killed with, with the sword. sword. Oh, you mean to tell me he ain't getting no pass? Read that again. He that kill him with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. He's not going to get a pass, Esau. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And we patiently wait for our Lord to turn us loose. That's and when right. you do, it won't be a single one of you animals left. That's right. Not one. Read on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 17 and 15. 
He that justifies the wicked and condemns the just. He that justifies the wicked and condemns the just. Really? Even they both are abomination. Both of you are an abomination of the Lord. And those many wicked niggas out there that don't want to stand up for the most high, that condone and shake the hand of a wicked nigga and put the thumb down on a brother that's trying to live righteous. That's right. Put the thumb down on a brother that's trying to tell him, brother, pull your pants up and love one another. That's, that's or right. Or you want to go against your own brothers and tell him you to stand unified instead of standing against your own kind. That's right. But when we stand like that, they don't want to do that because it doesn't include the white man. They get mad because Esau can be included. That's, that's, right. that's the reason why you can't stand unified is because you keep putting that damn enemy amongst your people. Gotcha. If you get him out from amongst your people, you would stand knowing who you are. That's you got right. Esau over here patrolling us. And then you got Esau out here trying to patrol us. Really? They're the ones that created to put our people in the mind, brain, they in. That's right. Read on. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 21. Bring it out. Prepare, Lord. As the Bible says, prepare, Lord. And the 
truth shall set you free. Nah, the truth gonna keep us burning. The truth shall make you free. Nah, I'm still a slave even though I know the truth. The truth shall make you free. I know. I know what's going on. Therefore, you cannot tell me anything. The Most High told me what I need to know. That's and, that, right. and that's that I'm a peculiar people to him. That, 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 he, that he knows me and don't know these other nations. That's what we know. Bring God up. For me right quick, our song 8, 82 and 5. It's a little time we go give them, man. Ain't think we supposed to be fearing them, man. Ain't no fearing them. We on the fear of the most high. That's right. That's what's wrong. We fearing the wrong people in this world. We fearing the drugs and the, the, the stoves and the, the streets. But the most high created all this. We need to start fearing the creator. That's right. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 5. Bring it out, out. They know not. Neither will they understand. They said they know not. But you ain't talking to the prophets. You're talking to the wicked ones, the ones that's lost. They don't know. She read, they walk going in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of court. See, we're not walking in darkness. We in light right now because we know the truth. See, it's shining big and bright to us. We know that we are hated amongst this world. We know that we are the chosen. We know these things. And therefore, we are in light right now. But my brothers, that we're trying to wake up out of this slumber. You all are in darkness, which I was also in darkness before. We have to come up and get to these laws, that's the commandments. Give me Titus 3 and 3 real quick, I, because we all were lost. Well, we all were lost. Don't sit up here and think that we didn't go through things like y'all have, that we weren't out here selling to our people, misguiding our people. We also were there. Bring that out for me. The book of Titus, chapter 3 and verse 3. Bring it out. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Now the prophets, we were also foolish. You see? Disobedient. Uh huh. Deceived. Deceived. Serving, serving, serving diverse lusts. Diverse lusts. All these wicked things that we were serving. Women. Looking at these women like we weren't supposed to. We all were wicked at one point. Continue on. And pleasures. Loving and and not living in malice and envy. Ain't that the biggest thing? My bad. I ain't that the biggest thing we do today? Living in malice, envying our brother. See one of our brothers with a good car or, or a nice pair of clothes on. We hate them. That's a problem to our nation. We have to come up out of this slumber. That's right. And start loving one another. That's right. They call the laws on us because we love our people. This is love out here. Why is our condition like this? Why are these streets looking like this, sister? Sister. Do you go to the white neighborhood and they streets look like this? You go clean out the other white neighborhoods and see trash on the ground? But you know what, Dale? I didn't live out here. Girls, girls, and then when all these people start going over there from the front of the dirt, projects, and I'm like that, it doesn't go just like the same. Well, sister, we've been in the project. It been, it, we, we've been over here. It ain't that they just not getting over here. We always been put in these bad cities. If you go to Oak Cliff, you gonna see the same people in Oak Cliff. Well, that's a bad example. Our people gotta wake up. That's just a loss. That's just a loss. She said that when they moved all the other people over her. Hell, we always been over her. We always been in the neighborhoods that they didn't want us to be, that, that, that they want us in, so we wouldn't mess up their shit. That's right. Come on, man. Bring that out. Like what you got? Serving diverse lusts and pleasures. Living in, in malice and envy. Hatred and hating one another. Hating one another. That's all we do. They want us to hate each other. Then we are right. If we hate each other, we doing what they want us to do. If we loving each other, it's a problem. So a lot of our Christian people like to bring out one scripture. They like to talk about one thing. But we got to bring up a precept to make sure that that, 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 that is that's that, that, uh, understanding this stuff, we gotta, we gotta have a, what's the name of it? We gotta have a, uh, 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 somebody, somebody else listening to you. Come, let me, we gonna stay in order. We gotta stay in order, but we also gotta have somebody, to, a witness. That's what it is, I'm sorry, it's a witness. You can't have one scripture like these Christians throw out here, one scripture. You gotta have another scripture to show your witness. Right. So let me get Micah 3 and 1. How you doing, sister? Right. Micah 3 and 1. I, what are you guys doing out here? Oh, we are teaching that yeah, word. What you're really doing, reading out well, the Bible. Unfortunately, the security guard called the property manager, and he's allowed to say who is and isn't allowed on his property, and he doesn't want you guys Michael to know. Michael, this is that. Uh -huh. He came yes, down and lied to us. Behold, I was that. 10 minutes. We've we been here several times before. He just got here. He going to say that the property manager called him 